When we discussed the raw image format, we mentioned that each raw file is proprietary to the camera and manufacturer that produced the file. This means that certain applications may not be compatible with the raw file produced by a certain camera. You'll often experience this if you purchase new equipment but use old editing software such as older versions of Photoshop or Lightroom. In some cases, even newer applications may not be able to read your file. So why does this happen? Remember, your raw file stores bits of data. Each camera manufacturer stores this data in a different order. Some raw files contain information that other raw files do not. Now keep in mind, there are thousands of different camera types out there. This inconsistency, coupled with the volume of camera types and manufacturers, makes it challenging for software applications to simply open and interpret any raw file. Take a look at this chart, which shows you just a few of the different raw file formats from different manufacturers. Two popular ones here that you might recognize are the Nikon.NEF file and the Canon.CR2 formats. The metadata format in each one of these raw file types is different. This makes it challenging for a single application such as Lightroom and Photoshop to work with so many different formats. To resolve this issue, the DNG file, or digital negative, was created. This format is a lossless raw image format written by Adobe and specifically used for digital photography. The DNG file format offers a much greater level of compatibility with Adobe photo editing applications. It is considered universally accepted because it specifies exactly how a RAW file should be written so that each manufacturer knows what order to store RAW data in. Now that we're better acquainted with DNG files, we can explore some of the unique characteristics of this file type. First, DNG files are supported by several dozen software and camera manufacturers. The format was created by Adobe, but it is openly documented and openly licensed. This means DNG files have an increased probability of remaining accessible far into the future. DNG files are also known to produce smaller file sizes, typically 15 to 50% smaller, due to better compression algorithms. DNG files retain all the original proprietary file information. Zero data is lost during the conversion process from camera raw to DNG. As new cameras come to the market, they can be immediately supported. Similar to the DNG file format, the TIFF file also offers 16-bit color depth and lossless quality. For this reason, similar to RAW and DNG files, they're also much larger in file size than compressed formats such as JPEG. When we export photos from Lightroom to Photoshop, they're exported as either TIFF or Photoshop's native file format, PSD. One of the benefits of TIFF files is their universal application among many different graphic design and photo editing applications. PSD files are also considered less efficient than TIFF files in regards to image processing. Later in the course, when we export images from Lightroom into Photoshop, you'll notice that the TIFF file format is recommended. 